Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Reapy Run. Today we're going to be going over some support builds and loadouts. Support is an extremely fun class and probably one of my favorite classes in this entire game and they have just some of the coolest and most fun weapons to play around with. So let's go over some builds for them. Um, I'm just going to neglect the passives because I assume that you've already seen the beginner video and I've kind of explained them there. Uh, and you're probably more of an advanced player. You're trying to be suicidal or hell on earth. And I'm going to show you some builds and some loadouts that can help you with that. So the first build is probably the most standard build that you're going to see uh, on support. And that is at level five, we're going to go to tactical reload. Um, you should always take tactical reload if you are going to be using either the double barrel, the buckshot, um, or the doomstick because they do not benefit from having a larger magazine. They don't get bonus ammo. So if you're going to be using any three of those weapons or all three of those weapons, um, don't use high capacity magazines. However, if you're not going to go with tactical reload, then it's your choice between uh, tactical reload and high capacity magazines because both are really good then. At level 10, we're going to go with salvo. This gives you 30% more damage with your weapons. Now, 30% Seems like a lot, and it is for shotguns. It actually helps out a lot, but you could go with Fortitude here at level 10. Um, I've found Fortitude to actually be way more useful than I originally gave it credit for. 50% uh, more health is actually really nice, and 30% more damage, even though it's really nice with shotguns, they don't entirely need it. Uh, generally, even on six-man hell on earth, you can still do enough damage with your shotguns to kill pretty much everything. Uh, it's not going to be as efficient, but you can also potentially survive longer. So there's a trade off there. Um, and I would recommend Fortitude for newer players, um, like I said in my other video, because it's just going to keep you alive longer. At level 15, I go with Tight Choke. This just decreases shot spread by 50%. Uh, this just makes it so your shot is much tighter and just makes it far easier for you to hit headshots at long range and just hit enemies at long range. It makes certain shotguns really, really good at long range, like the AA-12 or the Medic shotgun that already have a tight spread, um, making them feel almost like they're shooting slugs at the enemy. It's pretty great. Um, at level 20, we're going to go with Resupply Pack. Resupply Pack is just one of the best perks in the entire game, giving your team bonus ammo when you already give them bonus ammo and giving them armor really helps, as well as just having 20% more ammo for yourself is pretty good too. And then at level 25, I go with Barrage. This just makes it so you can fire the uh, any of your weapons pretty much in real time. Both of supports level 25 perks honestly aren't super amazing in any way. I usually go with Barrage just because it's a bit nicer. You can go with Penetrator on certain boards, though. If you're in a narrow hallway type of map, so if you're playing on something like Containment Station where all enemies have to come down, you know, one hallway, then Penetrator works pretty good. So with support, you start out with your trusty pump shotgun here. The pump shotgun's a pretty good weapon early on because it has enough damage even on very high levels to one-shot body shot most Zeds. And against large Zeds like Bloats, you can sometimes just take their head off with Walking one shot. Money uh, but any sort of small Zed, you know, no problem. With support, you really don't need to be aiming for headshots. It does help. You will get better with support if you are aiming for headshots. But uh, don't feel bad if you're just hitting some body shots. Because body shots are generally enough against almost anything besides maybe like Scrakes and Flesh Pounds. To where even then body shots can kill them and still fairly quick. It's just not going to be as uh, useful. One tip I would recommend uh, for advanced support players to try to learn is trying to go for multiple kills because at higher levels you will have high enough penetration to hit through multiple enemies. Try to line up Zed so that you can kill multiple with one shot. This can just be trying to, you know, get into a decent position to where you can shoot through multiple with one shot and kill them. Um, again, don't feel bad if you're only hitting one Zed, though, with your shot, that's fine. It's just this will help you conserve ammo in the early waves, because the pump shotgun really doesn't have the best ammo uh, overall, uh, unless you're using it like this. And you can run out, and then you're forced to use your 9mm knife, which, I mean, isn't the worst thing in the world, but you don't get any bonuses from it. I should mention that your loadout is going to vary depending on how much weight you can carry with support. So you might not be able to get all the upgrades, but you might be able to get the weapons I recommend, or you might need to get up some more levels before you can uh, have these full loadouts. However, if you just take partial ones, they'll still probably work on 
most difficulties, really. So the first weapon I'd recommend grabbing with support, at least early on, is the double barrel, if you can afford it. If you can't, then the buckshot is a great alternative to this weapon, because the buckshot is really good in the early waves. It does very high damage, you can shoot it fast, and it reloads pretty quick. The double barrel is an absolute powerhouse of a weapon. It can use upgrades, upgrades are pretty good on it, but it doesn't need them. Um, it's still pretty strong against everything. Um, especially once you have tight choke unlocked for it. Because once you have tight choke, then you can actually start shooting at some range. I'm going to be truthful and say that support is probably one of the lowest skill ceiling classes in the game. That's not to say you can't learn some cool tricks with them, but once you have gotten used to how they play, you're pretty much a master at playing support. Um, the secondary fire on the double barrel can send you flying, which is great. You want to use this for extra mobility because you don't have any increased mobility, so the double barrel actually does give you a mobility um, multiplier, I guess. Where if you jump up in the air and fire both barrels, you can uh, like jettison yourself fire. backward. Now you can actually use the alternative fire with the double barrel to jump higher than you normally would. Um, to get up to places a little bit easier to get over fences. Uh, you can also use it potentially to jump on top of Zed's heads and knock them kind of silly. Um, this isn't always the best use of the weapon, but you can Lovely. do it. You can also get to some places that you normally wouldn't be able to, at least as easily with the double barrel. You can also do this with the kaboom stick. It has the same uh, effect. Up. One thing that I said in my beginner video for support that I'm going to reiterate the point here is that you don't want to be smashing your face into the pod once you get to it. Um, as soon as you get to the pod, make sure that you're staying a decent distance away so that you can still interact with it, but so that you're not just smashing your face directly into the pod. Don't do that. This is actually really important for support because if you're smashing your face directly into the pod, people cannot interact with you. So they can't get their ammo, they can't get their armor uh, that easily from you because it will likely have them trigger the pod and grab it. This also applies to demos. So if you're playing demo or support, try up. to give yourself a little bit of distance from there so your teammates can still grab their ammo from you as you're shopping. Uh, and once you've uh, finished your shopping, be sure to hang around the pod. That way teammates can still grab ammo from you. All right, so the second weapon I recommend in this loadout, which is just kind of the power loadout for uh, support, is going with the Doomstick. You can get this essentially even at level zero and use these weapons. You can also upgrade them, I believe, fully and still have one more weight. So if you do that, make sure that you get yourself a medic pistol. That would really top off this build. That way you have some way of healing your allies and always try to incorporate a medic weapon into a support build because you likely have enough weight to do it, even if that's just the medic pistol. So you can do that. The Doomstick is incredibly powerful. You can fire out all four barrels with the secondary fire, just like the Kaboom Stick or the Double Barrel. Um, except for you have all four aimed at something. And this weapon is really just strong against everything. I would recommend just using your double barrel against pretty much any sort of small zeds. Even against big zeds if need be, because the double barrel is still not bad against them. These weapons don't need upgrades, but they benefit from them. Uh, that's pretty much the same how it, that's pretty much the way that all of supports weapons are going to be. None of their shotguns need upgrades, but they all benefit from them, so if you have the extra cash, you can do that. If not, that's okay too. This is also great at deleting Scrakes, because <laughs> you can usually one-shot Scrakes regardless of difficulty. Uh, if not, then you can two-shot them with the secondary fire. It just depends on how willing you are to shove the uh, barrels of your gun in their face. So, yeah, I would recommend going with a medic pistol on top of this. And then upgrading these weapons if you'd like to. That would give you a pretty strong loadout overall. So the second loadout with this is going to be um, using the same perks, but using different weapons. This is the AA-12 mixed with the M4 shotgun. This is for people that like more consistent DPS and longer range than like the Doomstick and Double Barrel. This build is better for different reasons and worse for different reasons uh, than the first one. The first one does have way more upfront devastating damage to anything that gets directly in your face or you get directly in their face. This is much better for those uh, medium and long range fights where the M4 is an extremely solid overall weapon. There's really no downside to it other than it has a little bit of a slow reload, but even then it, it's still not that bad. 
The A12 is just a monster. You can rip through crowds with it so quickly, and it has a huge magazine, so it does phenomenal against little stuff. It does great against big stuff, though, too, because it has pretty low recoil for a shotgun and pretty high accuracy, so hitting headshots at long range with this really isn't that bad either. The M4 is the same way. Uh, the M4 can fire a bit faster, I believe, than the uh, AA-12, but it is um, a bit more difficult to keep on target. You can upgrade both these weapons, and I would recommend uh, doing that if you have the extra dosh, and I would once again recommend going with a medic pistol for this loadout to just top it off. The AA-12 is also one of the few shotguns that can actually benefit from reload canceling. With this, where we're running the extra reload speed, it's not as necessary. But if you wanted to switch that for the higher capacity magazines at level 5, you could. Now this next loadout involves the AA-12, the Medic Shotgun, and the Buckshot. You could once again go with the uh, Medic Pistol if you really wanted to. You don't necessarily need to with this one because you do have the Medic Shotgun. The Medic Shotgun is a fantastic weapon. And this is more of a supportive support build where you can heal. Um, I guess all of the support builds are kind of support builds. Or healing support builds because... Like I said, I would always recommend taking a medic pistol if you can, unless of course you're going to take the medic shotgun, in which case you don't need to, but you could if you want to, um, just to have even more healing and be more of a team player. That is an option. Um, this build could also make use of the larger magazines, because you're likely going to be using the AA-12 as your primary weapon, um, the medic shotgun as a secondary weapon, and then probably the buckshots as, or the single buckshot as your complete backup weapon. So it's there if you completely run out of ammo with everything, which you might with this loadout. This loadout doesn't do as much damage as the previous loadouts. It's still no slouch on damage, but it's not as damaging as like the doomstick and the double barrel are in combination. And an alternative to both this build and the second build that I recommended using the AA-12 and the M4 is that you could go with the Frostfang if you have that. The Frostfang is a great weapon. It's really strong with support. Um, I would say that it's stronger on Berserker, but it's still really strong on support. Having the ability to block and the ability to freeze enemies is great for the team. Uh, it's really good against any sort of large Zed like Flesh Pounds or Strikes as well because if they become enraged and they decide to target you, it's not that bad if you have the Frost Fang since you can either freeze them to where they won't be able to uh, kill you as fast because they'll be frozen, or uh, you'll be able to block them. Even if you run completely out of bullets with your primary nice. weapons and you're, used, and you're forced to use the Buckshot against large Zeds, you can still usually kill them fairly quick. It has enough damage on it. And that's just kind of a theme with support, is that none of your weapons are really bad, and most of them you can fit together. You're also one of the best perks to go off perk with, um, because you just have so much extra weight that you could spare. If you are going to go off perk, I usually recommend taking something like a medic weapon, um, typically a medic pistol or even a medic SMG, but you could go with other off-perk weapons that are just strong with support as well. So in this build, I don't really recommend a second build for support because the most people tend to change about support is go with high-capacity magazines if you're going with weapons like the HZ-12, the Medic Shotgun, or the AA-12. All the other shotguns, besides the ones that I mentioned at the start of this video, benefit from this, so you could switch over to that, but that's generally what the difference in the builds look, looks like. You're either going with this level 5 or this level 5, just depending on which weapons you're taking. Of course, like I said, you could go with Fortitude. Fortitude does keep you alive longer, um, at least in my experience. I've found it to actually be pretty useful, but generally Tight Choke is going to be more useful than Armor Piercing because Armor Piercing, you already have really high penetration power and Armor Piercing doesn't help you that much more. Resupply Pack is almost always going to be better than Concussion Rounds. And Barrage is almost always going to be better than Penetrator, except for in certain maps. So the build changes very little, um, only really dependent on either you're taking the magazine weapons, you want to survive a bit longer, or you're in narrow hallways. And that's about it with support. So one more thing I'd like to talk about with support and in this last loadout is just their amazing cheap weapons. Support has some of the absolute best weapons early on, uh, including things like the double barrel, the trench gun, 
the buckshot, the HZ-12, the nail gun, all of them are really solid options early on. Um, and this is really good for people who want to uh, try to work their way up to playing on things like Hell on Earth or Suicidal, is that support does not need that much money to actually be good. You could go with the expensive loadouts like I mentioned, um, you could go with something like the Doomstick and the AA-12 together, which would be fairly expensive, uh, but would also be pretty strong. But you could also just go with the cheap weapons, and this is one of my favorite loadouts, is just going with the double barrel, and we're going to be working our way up to the M4. So once we get that, we'll be using those two. These weapons work so well in combination, and they don't, they're not going to cost you a fortune. They cost, um, I believe it's 1850 in total, and you can upgrade both of them completely if you'd like. As well as go with something like a medic pistol, or I believe you could even go with the medic shotgun, um, assuming you nice. don't want the upgrades, which is perfectly fine as well. So even if you're not the greatest player in the world, um, support is probably one of the best classes for people that don't have that great aim, who don't always survive, um, who just want to be useful for the team. Support is probably one of the best classes for that reason because even if you are dying every wave as support, it usually doesn't matter. You're still providing value to your team. Um, and I don't mean that as just in monetary value, like they get to pick up your shotgun and sell it or something. But um, I do mean just with your resupply pack where you're giving them ammo, you're giving them armor. And even if you're just killing a couple of Zeds and dying, usually that's not a great thing with pretty much any class um, and it's not something you you know want to be necessarily striving for but if it does happen it's not that big a deal with support really all right so this is the budget shotgun loadout and this is going with the m4 and the double barrel both these weapons are incredibly strong and very cheap this is a very affordable loadout everybody can take this regardless of your level uh, if you are higher leveled you can upgrade these you can upgrade them actually both full if you would like. Um, you can also, we'll instead of doing that, area. buy a medic shotgun in addition. Medic shotgun is a fantastic third weapon to have. Uh, even if you don't and you upgrade both of them, going with a medic pistol is once again a fantastic option and I would definitely recommend using it. Um, really, there is so many options with support in terms of their loadouts, especially based on your level. The higher level you'll get, the more uh, options that you have. I would pretty much always recommend taking at least two weapons and preferably if you could taking a medic weapon whether that be the medic shotgun or the medic pistol or even the medic smg uh, any of them are great options for you all right so that will do it for support support is an incredibly fun class it's super simple it's really strong uh, i really enjoy using support it's one of my favorite classes and they have so many uh, loadouts that you could go with just based on your level and if you're willing to go off perk they're one of the best per uh, they're one of the best classes to go off perk with so you have so many options hopefully these five helped you out hopefully this video kind of helped you out play support support or convince you to play support if you're not the greatest player and you want to move up playing uh, suicidal and hell on earth. I would recommend support. Support is really good. Uh, so thanks everybody for coming and watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys found it enjoyable or entertaining or educational in some way. Uh, if you guys did and you're not subscribed, be sure that you get subscribed. That way you get notifications whenever I put out new videos. If you'd like to support the channel, you can over at the merch store or over at my Patreon. It's just $1 a month and you get early access to some of my videos. And thank you guys once again. I will see all of you guys next time. Until then, stay cool and bye.